Well, good morning. It's uh, 41924. Uh, yeah, I'm William from Williams, Philippines, and uh, trying to get this uh, daily vlog going uh, for today. Uh, I've managed to keep it going now for a month and a half. That's a good thing. Uh, like I say, I'm trying to keep it going on a daily basis. Uh, I don't know. I kind of am enjoying doing it, but I still, I still feel like I'm out there more than I want to be. But the introvert in me, uh, it is what it is. And this is one of the ways of trying to grow past and become the better person and not let situations control me. Anyway, uh, let's see. Yesterday I uh, got out and got things took care of. They got the fittings uh, for another set to finalized and they gave me my ch color choices yeah, a little lighter than what my teeth are now and I'm gonna try to whiten what I've got I don't know <laughs> anyway uh, <laughs> yeah yeah I, I spent a long time not taking care of myself because of being on stupid street and then when I did end up finally, you know, becoming a better person and started trying to take care of myself. Uh, I wasn't really much there trying to take and do that. Uh, different priorities. So now I'm trying to juggle more of taking care of everything. Oh, and there's so much more of everything to take care of. Uh, but that's okay. I'm getting along and getting better at it. Uh, you know. It is a three-ring circus trying to take care of all these things. And improve life. You know. A little bit here, a little bit there. Slowly but surely improving. Uh, yeah. Oh. Sorry, I looked at the camera and it shows it on this side. Well, it shows it over here where it's actually at, but... Yeah. I don't know. Maybe... Yeah, okay. Sorry. My blonde escaped for a moment there. <laughs> uh, looking at the camera and... Not doing the flip in my head as to left and right. Sorry. Still trying to get better at some of this stuff. Anyway, today I'm on the computer, my little desktop brick. Yeah, I got this a while back, uh, about a year ago almost. To Well, actually not quite a year ago. Uh, I think in September I got it. It was part of my little uh, Amazon haul. A bunch of things I got to get this thing started and improving. And I needed a computer that uh, would be able to edit and such. So I got my little, uh, what is it, GMK uh, Tech. GMK Tech uh, something, G something, or whatever. I forget. I'm trying to look at it, but anyway, yeah, uh, I'm, on, I'm on my Avasco or Osco uh, V50X, does good, it's a real good little camera, and uh, the ring light up there is uh, kind of putting spots on my glasses. <laughs> It would be nice to not have that problem. Uh, 
but it is what it is. Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, on the 27th, uh, I'm going to try to take some of my radio equipment down and uh, hit the uh, Ham Radio Club's uh, little garage sale. I mentioned that. It's annual thing. I'll be able to get rid of some hopefully this month and uh, again next year if I have any left. So we'll see. Uh, yeah. I really am trying to figure out what I want to bring with me and I'm trying to think of living a minimalist's life but then this is the trappings of, you know, a hobby that I like. And one little piece of it led to the other and to another and, and trying to figure it out. Anyway, uh, got those going out. Uh, and like I said, back to yesterday, got the dentist took care of and that. Uh, went over and tried to get a little stuff at the grocery store and gone over and picked up the the, the cleanse stuff that the uh, colonoscopy doctor sent to my pharmacy. Yeah, I'm not going to there until July. But they already got me the colonoscopy medicine to take and drink and explode. Mm, yeah. So I gotta take and try to figure out how that's gonna, I, I'm gonna need to figure it out so that I can uh, adjust to being in one place with a toilet close. Because uh, I don't want to start taking that stuff until I'm somewhere where, yeah, I have a toilet to blow up. So, yeah. So I'm probably going to end up having to go down as soon as I get off work on Wednesday. Go down, get in the room, and then start taking the medicine as soon as I, or the, yeah. It's not medicine, when it causes a violent eruption from that end, uh, the cleansing stuff. There we go, the cleansing stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> but I got that picked up at the pharmacy and uh, a little bit of groceries. Uh, found a couple of pieces of good meat in the uh, discount section, so I grabbed them while I was there. Uh, I'll put them in the... I put them in the fridge and one of them in the freezer uh, so I can have something for a later date uh, probably shouldn't have got the extra piece for in the freezer and I probably should have just went ahead and got over into my chest freezer and drug the stuff out but I am getting some of it out and such oh wait. ah virus scan complete you are not infected hang on let me get this took care of go away okay yay we're there again uh, at work I have customers here at my house I have cats and computers yeah <laughs> and battery charging I decided to break out all my batteries and such and charge everything. I do that about once a month because, well, it's better to be on the safe side than not have a charged battery when you need it. So, yay. So, I even plugged this up and got it on the charger. I don't use this as often as I should, and I'm thinking I'm going to carry that out on a walk later today. Uh after the sun comes up try and get out there and do a little bit of a walk and well the last time I checked it was supposed to be fairly cool in the morning with my long sleeves planning on taking a walk around and well right now it's 43 degrees and it is only supposed to get up to 60 for the high today yay 40 and uh yeah, 40 and 59, and then 38 and 50 for Saturday with a chance of rain, 37%. We'll see. 
Okay. Yay. The weather's done. Tell you the kicker of it, though. I've got that. Uh, let me see if that... There you go. Uh, it's some of the cities over there in the Philippines that I'm tracking for the weather. Because, well, I'm trying to get used to the ideas of their temperatures and our temperatures. You know, I can tell you, I might not be much on the 90s plus, but the 80s is okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a couple places that uh, really do seem nice. Canalone and uh, Malabaya. Malabaya. I've seen some videos from some folks in that area, and it's beautiful. It's up on a mountain. It's a little further away from the beach than I like the idea of, but close enough you can still get there. So, yay. That is some of the, you know, areas that I've been looking at, and kind of alone there on uh, uh, Negros Occidental, Negros Island, Negros Occidental. It's on the north, up on it's a mountain there or a volcano actually. I, I like that idea, up on the mountain, and Canalone is not really that far. It's not near as far as the one there in. Uh, uh, Mindanao, uh, Malayoba, uh, Malaya. yeah, I'm going to have to have a lot of actual practice saying that one before I can get it figured out or listen to a bunch of people say it until I can figure it out, but that's okay. Ken alone is one of the areas that I kind of like the idea of. It stays cooler on a regular basis, and it's got like east and west to go to get to the water and I like that uh, you know do I want to watch a sunrise or do I want to watch a sunset uh, there's islands a little bit too close to really make it a real you know out there on the ocean rising you know out on the horizon it'll be coming over an island but yeah it's a sunrise and the sunset I have to deal with you know, here I'm having to deal with telephone posts, signs, and trucks, and lights. Uh, I think I can deal with an island in the way. A little bit, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I am definitely wanting to get over there and uh, check them out. And Catalone is kind of like, uh, sort of in the, I'm going to go to Ilo Ilo to get my uh, eyes worked on. And that's kind of one of the areas that uh, I would like to explore while, you know, after I get my eyes started to be fixed, uh, before I can go jumping off in the water and such. Apparently they don't want you to do that for the first, you know, four to eight weeks or something like that. I haven't had the exact but yeah, uh, that'll probably be, like I say, my first area, and I'll try to uh, explore Panay Island, Negros, and I'll be landing in Cebu, so I'll have a little bit of there, but then kick it off. Yeah, and uh, somebody there was talking about a little uh, Honda 125 click something they was reviewing and giving a they just bought it apparently this year early and yeah bill uh negros uh bacala area uh i think that's it bacala bill was talking i think he's got that video out uh, and being a little small uh, uh scooter to run around on and that's about all I need that or I want to get that trike and you know the Carabao make it into a camper I'm still wanting to do that especially if I could uh, get it and, you know run around I don't know 
could I literally load the, I don't know, can I load the, uh, something like a Honda Click into the back end of the, the Carabao, or hang it off the back end, uh, have a, uh, uh, little mount like they do for the trailer hitch that has a spot where you can attach the wheel for the bike and then you know raise the front wheel up into that and then just drag the tri uh, the you know drive the trike and carry you know drag the little uh, uh click along behind it i bet i could get somebody to make something like that i don't know <laughs> uh but yeah, for the first, like I say, year, I want to just be a gypsy. I want to get my wanders done. You know, start wanting to settle down again. And I can tell you honestly, here the last, you know, year since, you know, fully decided that I'm going, a year and a half, basically. In the last year and a half uh, that I've, since I've decided I'm going, uh, my gypsy has been you know getting out and tickling my toes saying right go now go now go now uh, so i've been having a severe case of wanderings wanting to wanders and even though uh the ride down to lubbock and back was a little rough on my back oh i enjoyed it actually i i, I don't want to do that you know i don't want to do five hours of travel every day but you know I could do five hours once a week and you know change change areas or, or I could probably do five hours and uh, take a break and then travel another three to five hours and call it a day uh, of course I'd probably be pretty wiped out by the end of that day but hey I'm waking up in a new place so yay oh yeah and there's so many islands over there to go explore. I mean, seriously, 7,641? Oh, they're calling me. My gypsy is wanting to get out. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, if I end up with the Carabao and a little click or something like that, uh, what do I name them? Gypsy 1 and Gypsy 2? I don't know. Because uh, apparently everybody over there names their bikes and such. Kind of weird to me, but hey, who am I to, you know, not go along with uh, local customs? And hey. This is all about me getting out of my little comfort zone and stepping up and going and enjoying life again. I can name a bike or a trike. Or both. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. All the different thoughts involved in that. But as for today, uh, yeah. I plan on trying to get out and... Uh, you know, sometime around 7, I want to take a walk and, you know, burn about an hour walking and, you know, get my exercise, try to build up. This will be my uh, third time for the week. And I want to take, in, like I say, I'm trying to do it two and three times a week. Uh, I might try to just do two next week and then three the week after maybe do it that way I don't know we'll see but uh, get that walk done and uh, get back here and cook a little bit of something I haven't eaten yet I've had plenty of coffee pots gone cups empty coffee I'm suffering from a shortage of coffee yeah, <laughs> I went through my first pot like it was nothing, and I'm contemplating my second. Eh, just saying. 
I don't know. The Folgers isn't doing, and I don't have any more of my high dollar good stuff. I'm trying not to order it. Because, yeah, to make it economical, you have to. I have to order enough that I would have more than what I would need for the next year or so. Uh, I don't know. Do I take the hit on the shipping cost and just buy one little bit? Or do I just find some local stuff here that uh, there are a couple good coffee pot, uh, uh, roaster places here. I think I'm going to try one of those. Uh, give it a go. We'll see. Anyway, uh, doing the, you know, get back here, get my uh, breakfast cooked up. And when I get breakfast done, uh, try to go and get in touch with the uh, land people the want to buy my tra my lots they called back yesterday and said hey the city approves I knew that and yeah part of me is really irritated at them because well they've made me waste three days uh, waiting for them to take and say oh we're gonna go ahead and for sure do it when I already knew that they could do it and they were just being overly cautious and so their overly cautious cost me time I should charge them for it and I don't know being that I'm you know no longer under contract with them technically I guess I could say well you know it's gonna be this much more because you wasted my time and part of me wants to do that because, well, I need every penny I can get. The other part says, you know, well, they was just doing their part and yeah, it took longer than what they thought. Government was involved. Hey, even the city of Amarillo government is not that efficient. There's no such thing as efficient and government. Yeah, you, know, you might get lucky like I did in Abilene and Austin and it just worked that day and you got through and it happened to be a positive experience but we're talking government yeah how often does government actually work right and be efficient and get things taken care of in a fast efficient and correct manner but yeah but then this would be holding the people that are trying to buy my property accountable for government failure <sighs> part of me wants to say okay you should have just went ahead and took took it at the you know and signed on the third day when you were supposed to not ask for a two-day extension and then end up going into the third day I mean seriously <sighs> so now it's this is the second third day and you cost me three days of extra time my time is worth something uh, I don't know I haven't got to that point yet, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, the people at the trust company that are supposed to be the holding company for everything to transfer between me and him for the, or me and them for the uh, title and such to make sure everything goes right, She's supposed to call me back sometime today. I'm hoping it, it's pretty early. I told them to make it early because I don't need to be staying awake. And like I say, I'm awake now. I've been awake since about, well, I woke up at about 10, 15 or so. And it got me my coffee going. And by 1030, I called and talked to a friend. And was, they was kind of busy, so they had to get up and... Then started trying to take care of other stuff, checking various videos, and trying to, you know, charging and such. Then tried to get, I don't know why, uh, my other cable that goes to this camera and this one, 
are both acting weird and not transferring data, but will power for charging. And then this other one that I got. Uh, okay, it was the cheapest available. And apparently it's not a data transfer, but I got uh, pink. I'm okay with pink. It was cheap. I thought it was data transfer too. Not. <laughs> but it has three heads on it. So I can use this to charge all three types of connector. Yeah. And off of whatever for the old C there. Yeah. So. Yeah, I ain't too hip on the color, but I'm okay. I'm not afraid of pink. Uh, like I say, it's not my color, but women love it. I don't know, maybe that was subconscious. But it was the cheapest. So I've got a charging cable that is, I think it was $3 something. So under $4 for a three-headed charging cable. Yay. Uh, I could have got three individual ones, and I actually have, uh, you know, a group of them uh, that, you know, various types and such that, yeah, I don't lack for cables, except now I'm lacking for data transfers because my cameras, so I'm going to probably need to get some more data transfer cables <sighs> some days. <laughs> But I would like to get uh, at least a three-foot one here uh, that has all three ends on it that I could use as data transfer so that I can stop having to plug and unplug it every time I need to swap to a different one. Because, well, the, the one that's, you know, the ASCO here, the V50X, and this one both have the old... Uh, small c or whatever it is or small a or whatever it is anyway the old style for the old phones and then i've got uh, the one here for the you know for the iphone and uh, this is new territory for me here new territory by a long shot i'm just now starting to try to even use it as a camera i was thinking i might carry it with this today and do selfie stick on for the a, uh, iPhone, a phone, <laughs> iPhone, uh, carry it with me and, and do that one and then transfer it over to this when I get back and while I'm doing my breakfast and then edit it and send it out. Uh, it is what it is. Part of me would like to be over there doing that and try to catch some of the sunrise as I'm walking. I don't know what it's going to be like this morning. Might be a pretty one. You never know around here. But we get more pretty ones than we do duds. And then we get a bunch in the middle. But yeah, we don't usually have a, too many duds for sunrises. It is what it is. But yeah, uh, Trying to get out and do a little bit of extra walking there. So yeah, I want to try to do the walk, come back, do breakfast, download the video from whatever my walk, and do a little bit of editing while waiting for the lady to call about getting with them to sign all the papers and try to get that going hopefully before, say, noon, one at the latest. Uh... Yeah, I don't want to be uh, uh, staying awake too late today. I would like to be able to get a solid eight for tonight. Because uh, this is my Sunday after, around noon right now for me. Uh, for y'all, it's Friday something out there. Uh, some people might have already started into Saturday. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, it's coming up on 7. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
yeah, it's it's weird that way. I, I don't try to keep track of everybody's time zone. But anyway, uh, like I say, you know, it's a good morning, afternoon, evening, or whatever the flying Fruit Loop it is for you. Uh, but yes, try to get that and get the, get that uh, signed, and then me over to the bank to drop this into the to the bank. Actually, I'm thinking go to their bank and cash it there, and then carry cash over to mine, because you know. Yeah, if I'm going to have to deal with a check, I'd prefer to take and deal with their bank on their check. Uh, this way it's, uh, you know, I'm giving my, my bank cash and not check that I have to worry, does it clear for, for a week. Because I don't really want those kind of headaches, and I, I'm just not that trusting when it comes down to other people and checks. I've seen too many headaches derived from checks. Uh, that's why we don't even take them at my job. The only check we will take is an ETF, electronic, uh, EFT, excuse me, uh, electronic funds transfer check. There's a couple of them. But, you know. I have to literally call in and verify that this check is authorized for that there and I get a clearance code so that we know that yes we've got money it's you know it's coming it'll just take it a while for the check to clear so yeah and that's the only kind of checks we take people call up all the time wanting to will you take a check or will you cut take a credit card over the phone yeah, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> yeah, we don't do that. Uh, yeah, there, there's just no way in the flying Fruit Loop we're going to take a credit card from third party over a phone to pay for somebody to stay in the hotel and then, yeah, it's all scam. Nope. Uh, we, used to do, we used to do that when I first started working there. Uh, I think sometime around 15, 12, 14, 15 years ago, we stopped doing it because we just was having too many headaches with it and people were just, you know, credit card scam. Don't need those problems. So it is what it is. But yeah, uh, I want to try to get that taken over to their bank, get it dropped uh, on them and get my cash, carry my cash to my bank. Cash clears. <laughs> I can drop it in there and... Uh, Cash will be in my account before the end of the day. If I get it there, I think, before 3 or before 2. Something before that hour clears today. Something after that hour will go on to tomorrow or Monday. Tomorrow. Uh, Saturday. So, it is what it is. Anyway, uh... Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I've got 65. Uh, or is it 64? Anyway, I hit 65. I don't know if I maintained it. I think I lost somebody. Sorry. Maybe you'll come back later. But, uh, yeah. Thanks, Philippines. Thanks, America. Thanks all my old farts that are listening, because pretty much 95% of you or more, actually I think it's like 99% of you or more, are 45 and up. There's a couple kids in there, but not many. Thank you kids for being around. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, hope all of you get to go to the Philippines and enjoy it over there. Anyway. Uh got some things to go get done so this is William from Williams Philippines I hope you have a wonderful day night whatever it is wherever you're at uh, and well later blessings bye bye I'm fish and well fish is out